Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing what I got in my BoxyCharm for the month of September. I'm definitely doing this really, really late. I got my BoxyCharm really late. I don't know. I think there was a mix-up because I remember getting a email saying it's on its way and then I received another one saying, just kidding, now it's really on its way. So, I don't know. I feel like I got it really late in the month. I just got it like maybe a day or two ago. BoxyCharm retails for $21 a month and you get five full size or deluxe size beauty samples and they give you all the info on this card right here. This month's theme is Runway Ready, which is kind of a tongue twister. The first thing on this list is from a brand called Provise or Previse. This is their skincare hydro milk hydrating lotion and this is a full size. Yeah, this is definitely a full size. It's two ounces. If you guys watched my favorites video, you know that I'm currently in love with a different product that they have sent us before in a boxy charm. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but it's pretty much a tone correcting oil-free extract um, that I've been absolutely loving. So I'm actually really excited to try this product as well because so far everything they have sent me has been the bomb. Do kids say that anymore? Do they say the bomb? Probably not. <laughs> Hydro Milk contains active levels of natural ingredients to help improve skin, hydration, and fight free radicals. I have no idea that I was supposed to be fighting free radicals, um, but now that I know, I guess it's a good thing that I have this. <laughs> Next up is this Professional Foundation Brush by Visanti. We received a blush brush from them in a previous box, so it's kind of cool. Keep sending them. I'm all about it. I can make a little collection of Visanti brushes. I'm into it. It is a foundation brush, and in my experience with foundation brushes, I've never found one that is super, super soft, so I'm not surprised that it's not fluffy or anything. I kind of think that that might be the point of foundation brushes. And apparently after making my nighttime video routine, I have found that a lot of people actually use these for face masks. It's not just me. So yeah, right on. I will totally be using this for face masks. I also use them to get my foundation on my face. If I don't want to sit there and put on the back of my hand or dig my beauty blender into it, I'll scoop it up, put it on there, plaster it on, will you? And then use the beauty blender to diffuse. The card says that it retails for $32, and it says it's a specially shaped design. I don't know how special that shape is, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> this next product, I feel we get quite a few products from this brand in BoxyCharm quite often, which again, not upset about. This is a Tarte Smolder Eyes waterproof liner, and this is from their Amazonian Clay collection. So I'm going to say coppery, bronzy, more copper, definitely more coppery. And then on the opposite side you get this smudge brush and it's a sharpening type pencil, it's not a twist up, just FYI. I don't know how successful people are with these smudge brushes. Do you guys use these? A lot of my eyeliners will come with these sometimes and they want me to smoke out my bottom lash liner smolder my liner and apparently blend with it. I don't find that it blends very well at all or smudges. It almost is kind of hard and uncomfortable, but I guess that's just kind of the thing that they tend to come with. Unfortunately, I am missing a product from my box. Um, I haven't reached out to BoxyCharm yet. Still debating whether or not I'm going to mention like, hey, this wasn't in my box. Um, but it is the Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel, which sucks because as soon as I started seeing people come out with their unboxing videos, that was one of the products that I was most excited about. I'll have to ask Christina if she liked it, and if she did, I might just buy it because I think it's a new product that they came out with. I feel like they continue to expand their line. I've used their highlighting pencils. I'm a big fan of their brow pencils. I really like their liquid eyeliners, the felt tip liquid eyeliners. I have one in a really pretty blue. So I'm bummed that it's not here and if it's good I'll probably just look into buying it. Next up are these scratch nail wraps. I've never tried these before like ever. I always thought that they wouldn't work so I didn't want to put the money out for them but now I get to try them. Ooh! And if you use the code scratch X boxy, I'll try to stick it down below, you get 50% off your first kit. And they have a $10 monthly mani kit. Ah! These are really cute. 
There are white ones that have a little geometric design, and then there's these gold ones that have this little negative spaced design. I don't know if you guys can make that out. But they're really pretty. I think they're perfect for the holidays, and it'd be interesting to see if they work. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Those retail for $12, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. One of the reasons I wasn't too sad that I was missing a product is because this month there's a bonus item. So we actually got six products in the box. This is the Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Dry Oil. I've never tried any Kardashian Beauty products at all. It's kind of a thick oil and it has a little bit of a masculine scent. Is it for your hair? I just put it in my hair. Yeah, it's for your hair. <laughs> Distribute into damp hair prior to blow drying. I heard you're not supposed to do that. I heard putting oil in your hair and then curling it or blow drying it, you're just heating up that oil and essentially defrying your hair. So, and because it's a bonus item, it oddly enough doesn't mention how much the value is. I am going to assume, oh yeah, it's a travel size, but all the other products were full size. I'm doing this off the top of my head, but if I'm doing the math correctly, this box is valued at $120. I know BoxyCharm is a little bit of a splurge compared to like Ipsy, for example, that's just $10 a month, but for me, I think that the value ratio is just so much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I have a ton more unboxing videos on my channel, or you can check out a bunch of the other stuff that I do. I do a lot of different stuff here. You might like. Take a browse. And if you like what you see, then be sure to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below letting me know what kind of subscription boxes you guys subscribe to by far. Which one have you seen that is the absolute best? Do you have any of these products already? Have you tried them? I try my best to keep the conversation going in the comment section down there, so don't be afraid to participate. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!